Hey guys, Hyperride here. Just uh, going to be doing a little bit of a cold start on my uh, 1982 Dodge Power Ram. Uh, it's uh, got a little bit of a carburetor issue. She's been sitting for a while, so I just want to kind of locate what the issue is, if there's something out of adjustment, if it needs a rebuild or whatnot. So I'm just going to do some cold uh, starting uh, issues with it, and uh, we'll see what we got. Uh, the truck is an old 1982 Power Ram with a 360 four barrel. The carburetor is a thermal quad. Uh, which is famous for a lot of things and infamous for many more but uh, yeah we're gonna go in and give it a cold start it hasn't been started for I would say about a month and uh, so it's gonna make take a little bit of time to uh, crank over so I've got a camera which is in my hand I'm gonna put on the hood unfortunately the lighting isn't very good and I tried to use some extra lights it's not working the way I'd like to but uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll get the, the best we can. I do have another camera that is going to be mounted there to check the exhaust, which I will throw that on now, and we'll see if it's running really, really rich. Make sure that's working. So let's see what we got here. So yeah, it's recording. So yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of cold starting and see if it's a uh, choke issue, vacuum hoses. I mean, things do get old. The truck is, you know, quite old actually. And these things do wear out over time. So it's not abnormal to uh, needing a rebuild after a few years. Um, and that's the way things are. I didn't knock off the snow off the hood. So when I opened it up, it kind of went all over the place, which you should be able to uh, clean it off before I do any of these cold weather tests. So I got the preheater hose all hooked up. It's actually not looking pretty up there because it crumples very easily. So I got to figure something with that. We're going to try to see if that door closes and hopefully it does. Otherwise we'll get carburetor icing until the uh, engine warms up. So there's the choke and everything. Everything is hooked up. So we'll see what we got. We're going to cr crank it a bit. I'm not sure if you can see it very good. Like I said, the lighting is not good, but it is what it is. So I'm going to give her a crank and we'll try to get her to start and then uh, go from there. See if we see what we see. I had to pump it a little bit and this is what we got. So running a little low on idle. We'll see if it comes up a little bit. But yeah, so that's what it's like when she's cold starting. There's a little rough. There's no high idle there, so I'm not sure why that is will be higher than that. That's one thing that I'd like to know if the choke is not properly adjusted or not. So we got here. Have to go in there and get a little extra. Why doesn't the high idle kick on is what I'd like to know. So I'm gonna let her warm up a bit. See what she's got. Again, we'll see if that works. If I got back into that motor, maybe this isn't working properly. I don't know. When I drive it, it smells really, 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 really rich. 
I'm not too sure if that's another problem that I'm having. A little bit of snow melting as the job gets hotter. This will be a little bit more of an issue. I'm also going to uh, stick the, once the engine warms up, I'm also going to stick the uh, cold or the camera down on the, um, what's it called? I'm going to stick the camera down on the carburetor and see if it's uh, dribbling fuel. Maybe giving me my hot start uh, problem. So we'll see. Oh, we should tighten that belt up. Excuse me. If this one isn't having trouble with why it's giving me my power steering. Uh, there it is, I'm a flat carburetor, guys. Okay, I can let it warm up for a bit. And then I'm going to uh, take the air filter off and uh, then do some closed circuit cameras on inside the carburetor. We'll see if we can get something uh, going down there and uh, take a picture to see if we see any faults of any kind. Okay, we'll see you guys in a few minutes.